these are the two molds that I made to uh, make our rosette. Trying to make that. Now, this detail here is going to be tough to, to make. But this one here, I did this all at one time. We, uh, I just filled it as much as, uh, as much as I could on there. It's really thick, really strong. The only time problem is, it took a really long time to dry. So, unless you have a long, long time, you probably want to do something different than that. The other one, the other one, I did it in two layers, and I guess you can keep any layers to it, but I think the mold's a little better, and we could have made it thicker if we wanted, but it takes time. So I'm going to go ahead and fill both of these molds with plaster. I uh, can use plaster of Paris or molding plaster. And we're going to make a rosette, you know, a replacement without going to the mill shop, which when you see how much they're going to charge you for a couple of these, you might be interested in making one of these out of plaster, especially if your woodwork is painted. So, I'll go ahead and mix plaster and fill these up. Okay, we're going to start filling our molds. This mold here does not look like it'll need any kind of support on the sides. Looks like it's staying put there. This one, since it's a little flimsy, we may have to support the sides. Okay, we have one fill. Nice flat edge. Smooth that out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fill the other one up. We'll let them dry, and then we'll pull them out. 